I was angry. Like, I felt I felt like I let my daughter down. I felt like like I didn't do enough. Like I felt like I could have did more. I should have did more. Like I know it was like a, a, a spur of the moment thing and, and stuff, but I just felt like we should have planned it a whole lot better than we did. And when that happened, I just felt defeated. He called me, he said, you know what? We're moving to San Diego. And I was like, wait, wait a minute. That sounds like a great idea, but not right now, you know. And he was just like, no, no, we're going right now. And he was just like, um, you know, see if your job can transfer you. You know, there's lots of Walmarts out here. The people are nice. It's great. It's wonderful. Packed everything up in whatever we could fit in the car. And we just drove down. I worked for the accounting department at Walmart. And I started from the bottom. I was actually uh, the photo technician when I first started. Um, about eight years prior to that. Once I started working at the Walmart, I believe I worked there probably for a, a month um, after transferring here, and I got really sick. I had passed out um, at work one day, and I was taken to the hospital, and we found out that I had um, nine tumors located in my uh, uterus actually and it was pushing it up into my abdomen so I was in lots of pain but I didn't know why I was in pain I kind of just rolled with the punches took pills and I just went on about my day because I knew I had to work I had to you know things I needed to do so my health kind of was on the back burner towards that and after a while I couldn't put it on the back anymore so I had to stop working once you know the money started dwindling down I then started to realize like, okay, I don't know what we're gonna do now. And I just kind of started to panic. And our very first night um, on the street, it was just nerve wracking. I don't think I slept 